for so long I've been trying to get you out of my head Oh yeah But somehow I always seem to wake up in your bed Mm-mm. Baby, if we talk for a minute Then maybe we'd be getting somewhere Like, why? Why do I live here? I clearly can't afford to live here. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to this week's video. Uh, if you're new here, hi, my name is Kimi. I'm a foreigner expat immigrant living in Seoul, South Korea, and I like to talk about it on the internet. Sometimes I talk about dating, sometimes I talk about my job and PR, and other times I just daily vlog, which is what we're doing today. <laughs> um, it is a freezing cold Sunday morning, so ask me why I'm going out with wet hair, but I'm gonna go meet up with my friend Anna, who is leaving soon she's going back home so we're gonna grab a coffee and catch up oh, oh, I just wanna love you a little to see where this is going I really need to know babe can we just open up cause I got to know if you feel the things I do I just got back from um Getting coffee with Anna, we went to this place called Local, which is just on like the Gangnam Cafe Street, which was really nice. Um, I've never sat in there before. I bought cake from there, but I've never actually sat. It's, it's cute. It's nice. Anyways, yeah, now I'm back because I have to get ready to go to Hanam because I'm going to get my hair cut and I'm going to Natural High, which is a natural wine restaurant around that area. I think technically it's in Itaewon. Um, yeah, meeting up with my friend Brian. So that's what I'm going to do this afternoon. So I came home to have a snack and to get ready to go and do that. And you're probably like, wait, wasn't your hair wet this morning? Kimi, why did you wash it before you went to the hairdresser? And the answer to that is because I have a lot of social anxiety. And so even though I'm literally gonna get my hair washed when I go, I want the hairdresser to think that my hair is like this all the time, super, Clean, I guess I don't know I mean it is clean all the time you just I I just have to wash my hair before I go to the hairdressers so I did <laughs> and also to be fair also though I want her to understand like the natural air dry texture if I go in there especially with like straight hair or like my hair blown out then she may have a certain plan in mind for how she's gonna cut it and then after she washes it and she sees it start to do this then she might be like oh shit so then if i go in like this with my natural hair then she knows what she's dealing with from the get and also like it's been so long since i got my hair cut these they used to be bangs i might need some help if you let me go because i'm flying through the sky and i'm sitting a little high on you i just ran for this bus <laughs> literally need to catch my breath. I'm so lucky the light changed and it was sitting here and I just booked it. But maybe your heart is falling for someone else. Whoa, 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 maybe we should talk for a minute. Then maybe we'd be getting somewhere. Okay, so. Come 
color me obsessed with my new hairdresser. She was so sweet. She took such good care of me and like, oh, it was just really nice to have an experience like that where obviously I was still a burden because I didn't speak Korean, but she didn't make me feel that way. And she also did such an incredible job on my hair. I'm so happy. Um, but anyways, now I'm running down to meet Brian. We're gonna sit in a cafe for a bit and then we have a reservation at um, Natural High a little bit later, so. Oh, I'm so happy. She was so kind too and she let me film and that's just like the greatest gift. <laughs> restaurant but it's a restaurant that he's talked about a lot which is called natural high um but yeah we had a really good dinner we caught up he just came back from a vacation to the u.s it was really nice i apologize in advance for there being no footage because i already know there is no footage because i <laughs> i'm like really bad at this is this why people don't like always vlog restaurants and stuff because it's difficult Anyways, that was an aside. When more outdoor spaces open up, like larger spaces, I think it will be easier for me to capture content. I feel like my channel is always more active in the summertime just because I'm out doing more things and um, it's they're just more accessible and more pleasant to do when it's not freezing outside. Um, so I feel like my vlog content is definitely better in the summer. So I feel like if we just hang on for a few more months, we just get through this winter, then maybe the content will improve. But until then, please, I am open to feedback. Tell me how I can <laughs> make better use of my time indoors in the winter to film content. Anyways, that happens to be everything I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed um, a mildly productive Sunday on my part. Maybe I'll see you sometime soon at some of the places I was at, whether it is local, natural high, or while I'm getting my hair blown out at Omang. Bye.